All right, thanks, guys. The Reds take on the Cubs, 220 Eastern first pitch at Wrigley Field in Chicago. The Cubbies open the betting as the $1.55 favorite. No line on the total as of yet. We're seeing a nickel move toward the Cubs up to 160. Once again, Chicago open 155 up to minus 160. No line on the total as of yet. 68% of the consensus is leaning toward the, club, uh, the, the clubs, the Chicago clubs. Uh, <laughs> Dee Sclafani is projected on the bump for the Reds. Hendricks projected on the bump for the clubs. The Chicago clubs. Uh, anyway, Hendricks, 3-1 ERA. Meanwhile, Dee Sclafani for the Reds, 4-6-0 ERA. Cincinnati's 27th in road scoring, last in road hits. Chicago on the other side, first in home walks. Getting a lot of free passes, a lot of runners on base. Uh, Chicago's 10 games over 500 here, guys. They are 29 and 19 straight up overall. They're also 17 and 8 straight up at home. So with all that in mind, uh, can't make a play on the total, but I do think the Cubbies should get it done at Wrigley. Give me the Cubs winning this one outright. All right. Before we go ahead and move on, a couple things real quick. Got to remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. Picked up another win yesterday on that site. Uh, also had a loss as well. Went one and one there. Uh, link is in the description section below. So if you want to check that out, there's a lot of great free content there. But we do daily plays every day. A couple different memberships. But memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Link for that site. Is in the description section below. Now, I just want to get through a, a couple shout outs. Very, very active in the comment section are the uh, the Brock Page delegation. So I just want to recognize a couple uh, couple guys. If you're not into the shout outs, just skip ahead. It'll take me about a, a minute or two. So just skip ahead, fast forward, and don't uh, don't listen. Uh, but anyway, uh, Chuck Pinter. Uh, Got to give a shout out to Chuck. Uh, he was actually a winner on the over nine in the Yankees Baltimore game. So congratulations uh, to Chuck. Uh, great sports batter, great play there. Chuck, enjoy the win. Uh, shout out CQP Underboss, who's uh, who said he was picking up the bag yesterday. So uh, I gotta ask you, Underboss, did you secure the bag yesterday? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, shout out to Nick Manley. Uh, question for you, Nick: Are you indeed manly? That was an easy one. Probably heard that your whole life. Bad joke on my part. Shout out to Nick Manley. Uh, shout out to Jay Williams, my good friend there. Shout out to Lamont, who uh, loved the fast pace yesterday. Hopefully we'll see some more of the same. Uh, loved the fast pace on the uh, on the podcast. Man, we really knocked out those picks pretty uh, pretty quick. Uh, next shout out. Good, uh, good friend here, Jared from Sports Gambling Daily. Uh, he has a great YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check out Jared. It is Sports Gambling Daily uh, right here on YouTube. Free picks from Jared. Uh, great guy. Me and him chat almost every day uh, on Instagram. So uh, I believe Jared is from Texas. But uh, great friend, great guy, part of the Beard Gang. So uh, make sure you check him out. Sports Gambling Daily. Great content out of Jared. Uh, next shout out, Some Kind Guy 10,000. Uh, Bleds W, who uh, wants to hang out with me in AC, that is definitely a possibility, and I'm not saying that as an empty gesture. Uh, we'll have to get together with uh, the U Dog, Ulysses Hayes, and uh, Ant Rod. Maybe we'll coordinate that. Uh, it's wedding season. I'm getting married in two weeks, so I probably won't be in AC uh, in in the next couple of weeks. But uh, if I head down there with the fiance, we'll get together, man. We'll shoot some dice. We'll hit the sports book, and. Um, let me know which, uh, which book you guys want to go to. Probably Borgata. Uh, I like resorts, but it's like a tiny little sports book. Uh, I just like the the blue felt, like the weird aqua. It's not even aqua. I can't even explain it, but it's like just a really cool blue felt that they use on the tables. But uh, I'm a dice player, so you guys will have to at least shoot dice with me for a, a couple hours if you want to hang. Uh, but we'll definitely throw back some beers, some shots, and do all that good stuff. Uh, shout out to Juju Haha, -Ha, which I think is a combination of Juju Smith Schuster and Haha -Ha Clinton Dix. But anyway, shout out to Juju Haha. -Ha. Uh, shout out to Lux Boss and obviously the U Dog Ulysses Hayes. Uh, shout out to TCGMD 2010, uh, who says IT sucks, but it pays the bills. Yes, it does. Uh, IT sucks. The best part is, I'm not even an IT guy, I'm a copywriter, I'm a sales guy. And they got me doing all this bullshit. By the way, I got to work tomorrow, uh, Saturday. 
uh, overnight, an overnight shift, and then I, I work on uh, Memorial Day. So anyway, don't feel bad for me. I'm getting paid, uh, and I'm paying the bills, and I'm getting paid well. So I never felt bad ever in my life for a rich man. I never did. They, they, they are not worthy of your sympathy. So uh, do not feel bad for me, and don't ever feel bad for no rich people, man. I just, it's not my blood to do that. You know, it's funny. They, they always show this footage of like people losing their third and fourth homes down in Florida and you losing their yachts and now oh, we're supposed to feel bad. I don't feel bad for that. Come on. I know that seems heartless, but it's like, it's play money. They got to spend it on something. So they buy a boat, they buy four boats, they buy three houses, a bunch of houses get obliterated in Boca Raton. They don't, they don't care. And everybody feel bad for that. I, I just don't understand that. But anyway. Don't feel bad for no rich man ever. Uh, shout out Lance LaRose, Calico Jones, Almighty Addo TV, uh, who actually, uh, Almighty Addo TV consoled Calico Jones after a loss and said, uh, you are not alone, brother man. I can appreciate that. You know, the love, the camaraderie, the consoling, the lifting up in the comment section from the Brock Page delegation. I'm down with that. Great job out of you, Almighty, uh, Almighty Addo TV. Great work. Uh, shout out to Mike Wilkerson, Sean Bennett, uh, Matt, it's going to be May, good friend of mine with the beard, uh, representing the beard gang. Uh, shout out to Stress Freezy, who I believe is Proline Master. Uh, shout out to Jerry, we the best. No, Jerry, you're the best. Uh, Jake Ricky Body, and um, last but not least, uh, shout out to Nenad Markovich, who says, Brock 2020, says, I should run for president in 2020. I think that's a good idea. I don't know nothing about politics, but uh, I know uh, I know how to party. And I think we need to do more partying. Like, <clears throat> make America great again. I, I, I don't know. Or did we ever suck? Maybe we did. I don't know. Uh, I just kind of mind my own business, do my thing. And maybe it did suck. I don't know. My job sucks. And, you know, but anyway, we'll get out of that. We don't want to talk politics uh, on this channel. Uh, we're about bringing people together and unifying. That's what's so great about sports betting, man. It doesn't see politics. It doesn't see race or color. It doesn't see none of that. All it sees is money. One color that matters. And that's green. All right, let's go ahead and get back into it. And we're going to slide into Marlins National 705 Eastern first pitch in Washington. The Nationals open 140 total, weight and a half. Nickel move toward the Nats and movement upward on the total, minus 145 and nine. Once again, Washington open 140 up to minus 145. Total open eight and a half up to nine. 51 percent, excuse me, 51 percent on Miami. 52 percent shaded toward the over. Right now, the Marlins are plus 125. Nats plus 130 on the money line. Lopez for the uh, Fish, McGowan for the Nats. Miami, believe it or not, six and zero in their last six. Six-game winning streak. They swept the Mets and the Tigers consecutively. Washington on the other side, 22nd in home scoring, 19-31 and 31 straight up overall. They're 12 games under 500. The Russell just 10-18 and 18 as the official Vegas favorite. When it comes to the total, Miami's 8-40 and 40 to the under in their last dozen. So, I'm going to lean Miami Marlins plus 1.5 and, and the under 9 runs in that game. Next matchup, Dodgers, <clears throat> Pirates, 705 Pittsburgh, no line for this game. We have Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. He's 4 1 with a 3.83 ERA. Nobody for the Buccos. We do not have a listed probable right now. Uh, regardless, though, the Dodgers are 32 and 18 overall, 31 and 16 as the favorite. Uh, Pittsburgh winners in just uh, just 10 out of 21 at home. Their offense is also scoring just 3.9 runs per contest on their home field. I like the Dodgers winning that one outright. Next game, Padres, Blue Jays, 707 Toronto. The Padres open a buck and a quarter, total at nine. Nickel fade of the Padres and movement downward on the total, minus 120 and eight and a half. Once again, the Padres open a buck and a quarter, down to minus 120, total open nine, down to eight and a half. 64% are leaning Padres, 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Blue Jays are plus $1.10 on the money line. Padres plus 125 on the run line. We have Joey Lucchese for the Padres. Thornton for the Blue Jays. Thornton's just 1-4 with a 4-4-1 ERA. Toronto ranks 26th in home scoring on average. They're also last in home hits on average per game as well. Uh, San Diego 3-0 in their last three, coming off a three-game sweep of the Diamondbacks. 
They're also fourth in walks allowed at home. Give me the Padres minus 120 and the under eight and a half in that game.